Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me and welcome to another Travel Tuesday. Um, so today we're going to be making some pretty fabric clusters and we're going to be talking about Finland. Um, I figured, you know, these are kind of Christmassy-ish. Um, so I figured, you know, we would um, talk about something that involves snow and, you know, festive stuff. So um, I'm actually uh, making these, you know, just before we get into the, the travel talk, I guess. Um, I'm making these uh, for a shabby wreath that I'm going to be making for my next project. Um, following a video from Beth, um, who is, yes, I made it myself, or yes, I did it myself. I think it's yes, I made it myself. Um, sorry if I've got that wrong, Beth. Um, but she's a lovely lady and she's got such great videos. Um, so if you haven't come across her channel, I really, really say to, you know, go check her out because um, she has some, yeah, some really great ideas. And one of the things that she made recently was um, a little, um, or a big, <laughs> shabby wreath. And um, it, was, it was brilliant. And we said about it going on the cover of her journal. I think that would look really great and instantly, um, you know, having it as part of my next project just instantly came to mind. So um, I'm just mentioning it because um, that's what we're making these for. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you a little bit about that um, when I do the project intro video. Um, that will be when we actually talk about that fully. So what I'm aiming for is some, some neutral clusters and some with pops of red and green. Um, because what I'm making these for is sort of a, uh, almost like um, a cosy winter type of vibe is what I'm going for. Um, this is quite a big one, so I reckon we can get away with a big button. So yeah, that's what we're going to be making. And I figured, because there's not really much to it after I've just talked to you about all that, um, I thought I might as well, um, yeah, uh, well, do another Travel Tuesday. I know some of you have been enjoying them and stuff, so... So yeah, that is what we're doing. So here we go. Um, so Finland, <laughs> I hear you cry. Tell us about Finland. So uh, my husband and I went to Finland uh, a few years ago now. I'm just gonna double check that you can see what I'm doing. Um, before I talk about that actually, I am in my new studio setup. Um, so if the lighting is different, if the angle is different, then that's why I'm still trying to figure out where best to um, have myself set up. And I have the tripod now right next to my elbow, which is not ideal. And it's certainly not going to stay there because any minute now I'm going to whack you. And I'm sorry if that happens. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, I am in my new setup. But I thought I'm just going to make a small video. And these Travel Tuesdays is a bit less pressure because I'm not really showing you anything tutorial like you know I'm just here talking um and I kind of need to get used to where everything is so yeah just bear with me as I figure all of this out um and uh yeah we'll, we'll get there in the end anyway Finland <laughs> let's get going with Finland um so yeah my husband and I went to Finland uh, a few years ago now um but it's something that we always talk about uh, doing again so um my husband Scott for those of you who haven't heard me say his name. Um, he grew up learning to ski. So his parents are big into travel, like really, really into travel. And um, anywho, they, yeah, they, um, they would take the boys um, on skiing trips, uh, you know, often when they were kids. So yeah, my, my husband knows how to ski. He's very good at it. You know, he does all the black runs and everything. He's not scared of a thing. Um, I have never done it in my life, uh, before our, our trip. So it was, yeah, a completely new experience to me, but it was something that Scott wanted to share, share with me. And, um, although I wasn't very good at it, <laughs> let's be honest, I was terrible. Um, I'm glad that he did share that with me because, um, it's, you know, it was one of those bucket list things that you always want to uh, try it, you know, just to see if it's for you. You see it in the movies and it looks fun and all the rest of it. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a brilliant holiday, even if I wasn't amazingly good. Now I am just going to say I had never done a single lesson in my life. It was 
Scott teaching me how to how to ski, um, just based on you know his knowledge and everything, which is ample when it comes to skiing. There we go, cute. Oh, sorry, just making sure I'm holding them in the right place as well because I have to get used to everything. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he um, uh, yeah, he was teaching me, and w we wanted to do it like that because we wanted to, you know, the, the the trip was for us. We wanted to, you know, spend that time together, didn't we? And I didn't want to be away from him doing these um, like proper lessons and not be like not be with him for the trip like that for me didn't make any sense. Um, so I, I felt like I wanted to be, you know, in there with him uh, doing it. And um, and, you know, he agreed at the time and everything. Uh, so, yeah, we were he was teaching me. Now, by the end of the week, we were there a week uh, in Finland. Uh, by the end of it, I had and. I'm pretty proud of myself for this. I had actually managed to go down the uh, green slope. So uh, ski slopes are colour coded, if you didn't know. So green is like, you know, the baby slopes, pure beginner. Then you get uh, blue, which is like slightly more, uh, more to it. And then you've got uh, red, which is intermediate, you know, only do that one if you're like confident. <laughs> Um, and then you've got the black runs, which is, yeah, only do that if you're, if you're an expert and, well, quite frankly, a lunatic as far as I'm concerned, but, <laughs> but that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, so I managed to go down this green, you know, baby slope on my own, um, by the end of the week. And I was quite, quite pleased about that, uh, actually. So that was this sort of skiing part. Um, so yeah, he was, he was teaching me. And, uh, you know, it didn't go too badly. As I said, I did manage to get uh, myself down this slope a few times on my own. And I think I only fell over once, which is not bad. <laughs> oh, I should tell you, though, the time that I did fall over was because... Um, uh, so on this particular slope, it's called... I think it's called, like, the magic carpet. And basically, you get your skis on it, and it goes up the... It's almost like a conveyor belt that goes up the slope. Um, and the idea is because if you're... A pure beginner you're probably not going to want to do the um, chair lifts yet so you know you go up this um, what this magic carpet this conveyor belt thing and uh, it's in the middle of the slope so you can go down uh, the slope on either side of this conveyor belt thing and uh, anyway um, I at one point had just forgotten how to steer myself or anything and I just got onto this track going full pelt in my head full pelt it was um I've seen the videos I was going ridiculously slowly but in my head I was going super fast uh full pelt towards this magic carpet thing that has you know five-year-olds on it you know proper beginner skiers <laughs> oh and it's just so funny because I was going completely towards them and thinking I don't know how to stop I don't know how to steer myself out of this situation so I just had to kind of throw myself on the ground right next to the uh conveyor belt because I thought otherwise I'm going to career into this little five-year-old who was looking at me thinking she's going to stop soon right she's going to stop soon <laughs> oh so yeah that was that was fun um it was funny and uh you know, we had a good laugh about that. But skiing aside, or my attempts to ski, should I say, uh, aside, I wanted to talk to you about Finland because there were other things that made this trip amazing. And um, it wasn't just, you know, the opportunity to, to try this, this ski in Malarkey. Um, we were renting a cabin during our time there. A traditional you know log cabin wooden cabin in the in the woods and um it was magical that in itself was magical we had a log fire in there it was you know full-on proper log cabin uh, there was even a sauna um so the finnish are very into their saunas uh so there was a sauna attached to you know private sauna attached to the uh well actually attached to the um their bathroom to be honest sort of you went through the shower bit and then you were in this this Full on proper sauna. Uh, anyway, so that was that was that, um, and the log cabin was yeah amazing. It really really was, and uh, that in itself for me made it with all of the snow. So here in the UK we we don't get that much snow if I'm honest. Um, we tend to get snow 
if we are going to get any it really random times like the last couple of years or so we've had snow in March which is strange because that's when spring is on its way right um so we rarely get uh snow you know at sensible times I would call it um you know certainly not snowy Christmases and that uh got myself right in the tears with this stuff okay there we go I'm trying to use this really nice gold twine but it does half come apart you know if you're going to use big parts of it but it um it is very nice okay there we go so that's that one I might have to go in with the lightering of these ribbons so they don't um fray too much but I'm kind of going with you know neutral but with hints of the red and the the greens and things uh, what was I saying? So yeah, this um, this log cabin. And uh, yeah, in Finland, you know, being a ski destination, they had stacks and stacks of snow. Um, easily, easily up to my knees. That's how much snow they had. And the average temperatures that week, so we visited in early January, the average temperatures were minus 26 degrees Celsius. I'm afraid I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but trust me, that is cold. <laughs> that is very, very cold. And I'm sure that, you know, those of you in Canada, you're probably thinking, oh, that's nothing. We, we do with that every year. But I had never seen temperatures like that. Um, I think the, the biggest, you know, the lowest temperatures I think I've ever come across before then was maybe minus five and even that was you know pushing it as just a once in the lifetime freak the thing you know certainly not uh normal <laughs> uh yeah so anyway so cold that the um the ski lifts had frozen shut uh like frozen not frozen shut but like frozen and couldn't move so that happened on a couple of the days it got so cold um but anyway uh, the reason I mention it is because the snow was so deep and just absolutely amazing. Um, I love snow. I really do. Um, I know it's not for everyone, but I, I love it. I love snow. Just do. Love it, love it, love it. And, um, you know, if I could live in a country that has, like, snow regularly, like, every Christmas would be nice, <laughs> every winter, then I, then I would in a heartbeat. Um, just as long as I could, you know, keep having my nice... Um, you know, my nice springs and autumns and things. But yeah, if I could have a really nice wintry Christmas, like snowy Christmas, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I really would. Uh, anyway, and um, so I'm just going to put this ribbon in if I can. I'm kind of doing these clusters slightly differently from how I would normally, which is probably throwing me off a little bit, but it's okay. Um, maybe I want the grey. That. Uh, yeah anyway so yeah this really deep snow was amazing um, you know I went for uh, walks through the wintry woods um, sometimes I went on my own because Scott wanted to go down um, you know the, the red and the black runs so that the big runs which I obviously wasn't going to join him on couldn't join him on even if I wanted to um, so yeah we um, I feel like I'm making this really big so I'm just gonna cut the base down yeah anyway um, I told you, I cannot craft and talk to save my life, can I? But I keep trying because eventually I'm hoping that I will get, you know, more comfortable with it. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, he, he wanted to go down these runs sometimes, you know, on his own and, and what have you. So uh, when he did that, uh, I would go for, uh, well, sometimes I would um, hold up in the uh, cabin, you know, because reading my books by the fire. With the snowy atmosphere all around that to me is is wonderful drinking hot chocolate you know lovely um and sometimes i would go for uh, walks through the woods it was quite funny because the temperatures were so cold um my phone would often like just turn off it was that cold it was it was so surreal i've never i've never experienced that um you know i'd be trying to take photos and things and then I would have to uh, put my uh, put my phone like inside my ski jacket 
um, you know, occasionally to um, just to warm it up. And uh, yeah, that was that was surreal. Um, so other things that we got up to, because um, we didn't do skiing the whole time, obviously, where I was still learning and, and whatnot. Um, but the reason we chose Finland was because there were other things to do, such as, wait for it, husky dog sledding. That was amazing, if I do say so myself. Definitely a once in a bucket, lifetime bucket list <laughs> experience, you know. Um, and yeah, so we did the husky dog sledding. So with, if you've never come across it before, this is how it works. So, um, well, this is how it works, you know, with the company that we went for in Finland. They had um, almost like a almost like a hammock on sleds that you could sit in. Uh, so you have one person sitting in there, all bundled up with thick blankets and things, and you've got one person on the back uh, who is in control of the brakes, and I think partly the steering. Um, what have I done? Sorry about that. I just had to finish that one off because it was getting in the right tiz with the uh, the button. I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I was doing something. Uh, anywho, so um, so yeah, about the dust, the the dog sled in. So one person is on the back, and they have um, you know they're in control of the brakes and I think the steering. Um, so Scott was on the back, um, and I was bundled up in blankets in charge of taking photos. So there are photos on my blog of all these things that I'm talking about. Um, I'll make sure that I can find the links uh, for you and pop them down below. Uh, in the description box just in case you would like to see <laughs> for the starter you had to wear um so you had all your ski stuff as normal but you also had to wear um almost like full-on snow suits and hats and gloves that they give you because it was so cold and you're going such fast speeds with these dogs that they yeah you have to you have to wear all this special gear so <laughs> it's quite funny there are photos of, um, I think there are photos on the blog um, of, of these things. So um, I will dig those out for you. Um, anyway, and um, so, yeah, so we did that. So that was amazing. And one of the things that I wanted to mention, because um, this is a question that I had uh, before going, was, you know, is it right to do dog sledding? Like, is it, you know, is it is it is it okay for the dogs? Do they enjoy it? Are they well looked after, etc.? Um, of course, that is, you know, as a dog owner myself, that is important to me. And um, I can say that these dogs were well looked after, as far as we could tell. Um, you know, they seem to really love their their owners, their handlers. Um, and on top of that, they they were raring to go every single time. Um, so when we would stop to, um, you know, wait for people to catch up and things, that yeah, they would just be like you know, buzzing, ready to go and stuff. And then you'd say, right, okay, you can go and, you know, take your foot off the brakes type thing. And they were just <laughs> gone. Um, just seemed to really love it. So yeah, um, as far as I can, I can tell they, they really did. So yeah, that was just something I wanted to mention because it is important to me uh, to talk about these things as well. Um, because that's one of the things with, you know, all of this travel stuff is, I try to be conscious of, you know, doing it in a responsible way. And the reason I just mentioned that is because, you know, not every uh, traveller thinks like that, not every travel blogger thinks like that. And I do think it's important to, to mention it, um, you know, just as an important thing. You know, we have to look after our world and animals in it and the people in it. So, you know, that's um, that's just one thing I wanted to say. Anyway, so so yeah, that was that was that. Um, that was the husky sled in. Uh, we also did snowmobiling, um, and <laughs> that was amazing as well. Um, so uh, you could be two to a snowmobile. So um, for the most part, Scott drove it, and I just sat on the back. Um, I did try to drive it, uh, but I ended up almost getting us lost in the woods. Um, so it was a like a full day of snowmobiling, you know, you go, we went quite far away from the ski resort, right into northern Finland, that's where we were staying anyway, so north of Lapland, 
or where you, where you where you would consider Lapland to be. So where Father Christmas is from, we were north of that and we went even further north, right into the depths of northern Finland on these snowmobiles. And um, we would, you know, be by the side of frozen lakes. We would be going through the snowy woods, all of that. And it was amazing. Um, and at, in Finland at that time of year, they had quite short days. So uh, 10, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. was daylight hours. The rest of the time you were in almost total darkness. Um, so that was interesting, <laughs> you know, having to set our alarms at 8 a.m. Otherwise, we were easily sleeping in till 10, 11 in the morning, which is, you know, unusual for us. Uh, anyway, so... So yeah, so um, so part of the snowmobiling was in the dark, um, certainly by the end of the day. But it was it was a really really fun experience. Um, we got to go on a reindeer sleigh ride. Yes, we did. Um, and uh, this this reindeer, oh my goodness me, he just wanted to eat. I think. Um, there we are. That's that one. A bit more neutral that one. So yeah, I'm trying to get a nice balance of colour and neutrals. I think. So I think we'll do another coloured one, colour-ish. Um, so yeah, this reindeer, I think he just wanted to eat. Um, he kept stopping every, I don't know, 30 seconds, <laughs> just wanting to graze by the side of the, the track that we were on. So if you imagine like, um, you know, an athletic track when people do the relay, so they go around this like circular track. If you imagine that sort of size and in a circular motion, that's the track that we were on in this uh, sleigh ride. And um, it took us easily, I don't know, like 10 minutes just to get around it. It was, it was amusing. <laughs> um, but yeah, this reindeer, he just wanted to eat. Just fair enough. I don't blame him. I'd be the same, I think. I don't want to pull these humans, he says. I just want to, to eat. So yeah, that was, that was a bit funny, really. Um, but we got to feed the reindeer after um, and, uh, you know, pet them and, and feed them. And the person who owned this, um, I suppose it was like a reindeer farm. Um, the guy that owned it invited us into his cabin, another, you know, snowy cabin in the woods. And he gave us um, uh, like Finnish pastries and their version of mulled wine, which is called gloggy. Um, so we had some of that and it's, yeah, it's really tasty. I like, I like gloggy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was fun, and uh, yeah, it was really fun. And it was just interesting to to speak to him as well, because um, he lives in the depths of northern Finland, and probably, well, apart from tourists, doesn't see doesn't really see anyone. So it was probably interesting for him as well. I think I'm gonna move that. I really like the pearls, but I think it's gonna get in the way of the uh, the buttons. Um, so yeah, it was interesting to speak to him and uh, he let us borrow some sleds so we could go down the hills near his house and stuff. So that was interesting. Um, I can now say that I've, you know, sledded with a Finnish person. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was, um, it was surreal. I said I was going to make this one more red, didn't I? <laughs> I always end up gravitating towards the... Uh, the neutrals when I make my clusters I think just because then it's easier for them to go go with everything isn't it but I do want to get a little bit of red in because as I say these are for the journals where there's going to be quite a bit of red inside so I do want to get some more so let's try this this one's turning out to be quite a big one but I don't think that matters as I say I'm following um I'm going to be following a tutorial from Beth which is um to make a wreath and so I need to well, I need enough to cover my my wreath not sure about that white on top of it though put that underneath and then I think we just go with a bit of gold on top let's try a bit of this Oops. just to tone down the red a little bit uh so what else did we do um so I've told you about, so we did the obviously skiing, the husky sledding, the reindeer sleigh ride, the sledding itself, 
um, we did sledding with this this Finnish person <laughs> and uh, we also the cabin that we were staying in uh, they had some sleds in their outbuilding so we borrowed those went off sledding you know just me and me and Scott and uh, it was quite funny so Scott is obviously this bit of a daredevil when it comes to things so you know he loves heights and he does skiing and all these things right and we got on the sleds now I managed to get down the hill in one piece um, it's quite a, a big hill, uh, very fun, and uh, yeah, I did perfectly fine. Get Scott on a sled, and he nearly crashed into a tree. So yeah, take that, Scott, Mister Ski Person. <laughs> uh, it's, it's something that I, I did actually get a video of him, um, you know, because I was making sure I was taking a few videos whilst we were there, just because we were having all these experiences that were, you know, something to remember, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I, I did I did tease him a lot after to say, you know, oh, well, you can ski, but can you get down a, a hill in a sled in one piece? No, maybe not. You know, but yeah, it was just <laughs> it was just a, a bit of a laugh, really. Um, so, yeah, so that that was Finland. Um, as I say, we went early, early January. I think it was the, the first week. And um, the. I guess the people who own the cabin, they did have some Christmas decorations out. Not a lot of them, but just a few, um, you know, little candles and, you know, advent candles, um, a little Santa figurine and, and things like that. And even though we had already had Christmas, it just felt really nice and wintry, really special. I think that's, I think that's the, the word I would describe for this, this particular trip was special. You know, not only did we do some incredible, amazing things, uh, you know, bucket list things, but just the atmosphere was just really, really special. Um, and we've been talking about it and we really, really do want to go and do some more wintry trips where, you know, maybe Scott can go skiing and I can just hang out in the cabin, go for wintry walks, you know, and do the other things that come with snowy holidays, you know. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was Finland. Um, I think I could probably stay on for a bit longer. I don't want to bore you to death, um, with, well, I'm not doing anything particularly exciting. I am just making some clusters, but, um, yeah, I need to think about something else to talk about now because I think I've said what I came here to say about Finland, really. Um, as I say, there are, you know, photos on the blog, so you can see us in these, doing the husky sledding and, and stuff. Um, so I will link those down below, just for those of you who are interested. I know not everyone will be, but for those of you who would like to have a nosy, I will dig them out for you. Um, and uh, yeah, so so that's that. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can mention about Finland, but... I think that's the main part. Obviously, you know, a lot of it was this skiing, this skiing. <laughs> a lot of it was about the skiing and um, and all the rest of it. But uh, yeah, I was determined if we were going to go on this snowy adventure, then I was going to do more than just ski. I was going to, you know, try all the things that I've always wanted to do or you know, I've seen in the movies and just really wanted to give it a go and, and stuff like that. That's what I'm about, definitely. It's just, yeah, just just living your life as doing these things. You know, that is, is what I'm into and it makes me me, um, these experiences. So, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that I've got Scott who, um, he, you know, he is into it and he loves trips as much as I do and stuff. Um, you know, obviously that's part of why we're together is, you know, we have this, this shared interest and, um, I don't know. It's just, these times are just really, really special. And I love that I can just sit here and make something and, uh, you know, combine the two together. And I know not everyone watches these, uh, travel videos, which is, which is fine. I knew that was going to be the case. Um, but I like that I can just, you know, sit here prattling about with things and and talk and share these memories with you um it's been it's been a real pleasure <laughs> uh to to not get too um 
emotional on you. But yeah, it's, it's been a real pleasure being able to share these with you. So um, I just wanted to say that. What do you think? This one's got a bit of red in, shall we? Let's go with the bigger button. I just want to put another layer in just over this, just to not hide it, but just dull it down a little bit, I think. Um, so yeah, um, obviously this is my first video in my new setup. Um, I am recording this on Tuesday, the day that you'll see it. Um, I was going to do the video yesterday, but I just I just ran out of time. Uh, Monday is normally my admin day anyway, so uh, I knew that it would, I would be a little bit pushed for, you know, finding the time to get it in. But um, anywho, I wanted to still record the video, so it might go up a little bit later than what my videos normally do, but because it's a... You know it's it's an extra video anyway i don't think anyone would mind that much and really i mean i've noticed that everyone seems to uh watch at different times anyway so i don't think it really matters that much when i put my videos up to be honest i think it's more for me i like to aim for you know aim for a time so that i know i know what i'm doing i guess <laughs> um but, uh, but yeah, for people watching, I don't think it necessarily matters all that much, really. But uh, uh, So yeah, so I'm, I am, you know, getting used to, to where things are. I have a feeling my hands are, like, quite far over. So I am going to have to have a look into where I am because um, I don't think it's quite right yet. Um, just want to make sure I'm getting all the lacy layers in. So I feel like this red one has moved a bit. Uh, yeah, so I, I am still getting used to, to where things are, but I'm hoping that this has been enough for you to just see what I'm up to and when, well, main, mainly, I suspect most of you will just have me on in the background whilst you do things, so, um, you know, if you are crafting or fussy cutting or, you know, what, what are you up to now, I'd love to know. Um, so for me, I'm going to finish off some more of these um, and then I'm just sort of thinking how long have I been on for I'll probably make a few more because I do want to, to make a few more I think um and uh I can't promise I'll have anything exciting to talk about now <laughs> now that I've talked to you about Finland um anyway and uh oops there we go um what was I saying <laughs> oh I can't even remember what I was saying now um, yeah, so I am still getting used to where everything is, but um, I'm really, really liking it already. Um, I have recorded a few videos of me, you know, the, the progress stages of, of getting it to where it is now, um, which I'll put up soon. I wanted to, so although I've moved everything in, I'm all set up and, you know, able to work and stuff, um, which is obviously the important part. Um, I do still have things to put on the walls that I haven't done yet. So um, once I've got all that done and it's completely finished, then I'll obviously be able to share with you a like craft room tour thing. Um, because I have found, you know, a, a better organisation system as well. Um, you know, better than than what it was. It was it was okay before, but it's even better now. I'm gonna have to snip that, unfortunately. It just completely came off. <laughs> there we go. I just must have moved whilst stitching the pattern on. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I have found you know new ways to organise things um, as well. So you know I'll be able to to share that with you and and just to show you. There we are. Oh, I love making clusters. I really do. I know I say that a lot, but it's it's the feel of them as well as how they look. They're just a lot of fun. Um. I don't really get, I don't feel like I get a lot of time to make um, clusters like this because, you know, you do have to get everything out on your desk and, um, you know, I feel like you do have to make a few to make all of this, you know, worth it sitting here doing it and stuff. So a bit of a mess make, I suppose, um, which we don't always have time to do, but um, when I do actually sit down to do it, well, 
be quite fair, I do have a lovely time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to do a couple more, I think, and then I will love you and leave you. Um, give you a break from me. <laughs> and uh, I know we're all busy as well, so um, if you are going now, bye-bye. If you have already gone, then you won't hear me, but um, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about anything particularly interesting now. Um, let's try and think of something to talk about. Um... Right, well, I'm just going to have a little look at what colours we've got. I'm going to bring them in so you can see. So we've got uh, two reds, three, four, five red and two neutrals. So I think we can afford to go a couple of neutral ones just to finish off. Because um, as I say, I do want them mixed in together. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this, this project. I saw Beth's video, I think only yesterday. And straight away I was like, that's it, I'm doing that. <laughs> it looks so fun. So yeah, if you haven't seen that, I do, I do encourage you to have a little look-see at what Beth is up to. Um, as I say, it was this fun, like, a wreath made of clusters, you know. Yeah, and it just looks really cool for the front of the journal. So um, I'll talk to you a little bit about project stuff. Um, I'll see anything I can think of to talk about right now. So uh, we've got the little golden book journals. Um, so those videos, actually making them, will be going up um, over the next few days. I filmed, at this point, I filmed the first two parts. And I have a third part that I want to do where it's basically just, um, you know, filling, filling the journal, getting the pockets in and embellishments and things. So I'm hoping, if I get time, I'll be film filming that uh, this afternoon. So after lunch. Um, so yeah, you'll see those over the next few days. Then there are a couple more Christmassy type projects that I want to do just to finish off the month. And then in December, very excited by this one, is we'll start my winter projects, which um, I wanted it to be uh, file folders. Uh, alongside the altered book, I will be doing that um, later in the month. But uh, to kick things off, We'll be doing, uh, yes, these file folders. Um, I've got a little bit of eyelash trim there, which I'm going to try and sneak in behind a large button, I think. Just for that bit of glitz. You know I love my sparkle. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this button. I think I prefer that one. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, I'm really excited for that, those projects. Um, Obviously, I, I am new to, to file folders, so uh, I can't promise <laughs> that the videos will be amazing, but um, I'm excited to do them and I just want to film, you know, bits and bobs of the process, um, just as I normally do, really, uh, you know. Um, and what I am thinking of doing uh, is, you know, because I, I am thinking about December, you know, December videos. Um, I was thinking about recording some December daily videos this year. Um, so I know most people do December dailies in a journal. Um, I don't have time to make myself one and really I probably don't have time to, to sit and write in a journal. Um, not at that time of year anyway. Um, but I thought it might be nice to, to share some stuff um, as a, a video so you know maybe one day we're decorating the tree and I can you know show parts of that or something just yeah just um I, I guess bring you into my home <laughs> and uh I thought you know I know a lot of you enjoy my Mahalo monthly videos um and and the Travel Tuesday where it's just I'm not really doing much I'm just talking so I felt like maybe this was um you know December's a special month so maybe we could do a December daily but as a video version um, um, I don't know how it will go, I've never done it, and uh, I just think it will be a lot of fun, so uh, I imagine they'll only be short, like, you know, five, ten minute videos max, but just for me to share with you what I'm doing that day, whether crafting or, you know, maybe we're going to somewhere, somewhere Christmassy and I want to talk to you about it, um, stuff like that really. I'm just going to snip off a little bit of this lace, it's not sticking out quite so much. So yeah, just those are the things I'm thinking of at the moment really is, is what that would be like and 
all the rest of it. So yeah, as always, <laughs> we'll see the videos when they're, when they're ready. Right, I'm going to do one more and then I promise I will say goodbye. I just felt like, you know, I'm sitting here with all this stuff. I might as well just carry on for a bit longer. Um, but really, I have run out of things to say. <laughs> or have I? Maybe I haven't. Maybe I can still talk a bit more. Um, so, uh, I don't know if I've told you this, but Scott, my, my hubby, he has a 3D printing business. Um, it's on Etsy and he's been full time on that now for... I think it's over six months now um, and he's doing fabulously well and of course as you might imagine so he does um they're like um, 3d models and planters that's mainly what he does I think and um, as you might have guessed this time of year is, is quite busy for him um, but he's decided he wants to try out uh, craft fairs so he's going to be um, doing a couple of those this year I think they might start next weekend and um, I've said that I will help him um, you know be on the be on the stand with him kind of thing um, so yeah I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that actually that'll be something different um, I have no idea how it will go but uh, we just felt like it was something to try um, so he's gonna give that a go and yeah um, might be able to tell you about it on a, a future video, see see how we got on. Sorry, there's a lot of beeping going out, there's a, a lorry reversing. Um, I live in a cul-de-sac which ends in a dead end and yeah, the amount of, <laughs> the amount of trucks we get coming down, um, the only, only one way to go is back out the way they came kind of thing, so. Can be quite, can be quite noisy sometimes. don't know if that really works but um so yeah about the studio we even laid uh, a new carpet which is yeah I'm gonna take that off um yeah we laid a new carpet um which wasn't I wasn't expecting to do that um it had crossed my mind as to you know whether it be something that we that we try um but I hadn't really you know really thought about it uh, until Scott said about it too and it turns out he didn't like the stripy carpet either <laughs> he hated it too so we just thought well if we both hate it then you know we'll try so now I've got a really nice plush brown carpet almost like a chocolate brown um it's really nice so soft really love love it already you know um I did magnolia walls, so it goes really nicely with with the magnolia. Yeah, I'm I'm really glad that I've done it. It's been, I think I spent about a week, which is not too bad, all things considered, is it? Uh, you know, doing doing it up and everything. Um, but so 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 worth it. Um, I I struggle with taking time off. Um, I am quite busy, <laughs> uh, as I'm sure most of you know, and um. So, you know, if I'm going to do something like this, I really have to, like, plan in that I'm going to be doing it. Um, I'm so glad I did. I really am. So, so, so pleased. Um, it's been well worth it. And um, I've got stacks of room. I really do. I've got all this, all this space that you can't see, but you will still, <laughs> you will see it soon. Anyway. Yeah, this will definitely be the last one because I can actually feel my voice going a little bit croaky now. I don't normally do quite so much talking, do I? <laughs> I don't think. Um, where should we put this bling? Like that. Might cut a little bit of the background off, but for now we'll get that one in. With oh, let's go with the dark. Oops. Let's go with the dark red. That might be nice. Can I get another bit of lace in? I'm just seeing what I've got on my desk. Um, I think I've got a bit of this. I wonder if I could just like, work this in there. Just because I, I want to um, not hide, but just disguise the, the red a little bit. Just, um, just 
I swear I don't want it to be red overload, you know. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's that's what we want. Just gives it another another layer. There we are. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing about Finland and I hope you've enjoyed seeing these clusters. Um I will bring them in in a minute. I appreciate the video probably turned out to be quite long in the end. Um but I, I suspect most people just stay for the uh you know the travel part. Um which it which is fine. And uh but yeah, I'll bring them in and then I'll say goodbye and then it'll be, well, time for my lunch. So as I say, I'm going to upload this video today, the day that you'll see it. Um, and I suspect it will probably be the evening by the time it finishes uploads. Um, but uh, yeah, but um, you'll see it soon. So yeah, thank you ever so much for, for being here. I really appreciate all of your support and um, it's just been really nice being able to get to know you and have you get to know me and, and all of that. So I'm glad that I started this series. Um, obviously I don't get time to do it every every week. Um, but, uh, you know, when I can think of things, little jobs like this that um, work well for me not having to think too much <laughs> about the task that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I'm able to just talk to you about a few bits and bobs whilst making something. So, oops, I'm just kind of clearing a space. There we go. So you can see them all. How many did we get then? So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that's not bad um i might sit here and do some more but um for now i will <laughs> i will say goodbye um i think they go well together as i said i did want you know a bit of red and a bit of the gold certainly lots of white mixed in um i do have some green which i might do a couple of green ones um but i'll do those i'll do those off screen so um i guess the next time you see these they will hopefully fingers crossed be attached to this wreath idea that Beth showed, um, if I can, if I can figure it out. So thanks so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate being able to have this time with you and, um, I'll see you on the next video, which will be tomorrow. As I say, that will be part one of the little golden books.